Hello everybody, I'm going to present you today how to make a DIY variable lab bench power supply. Alright, but first thing first, all these can be power supplies and actually they are power supplies but for various purposes. Take one, this one for example. This is a power supply that we made from a old DVD. Yeah, it's a power supply nonetheless. This one is a power supply from a TV, I'm guessing, yeah, with multiple outputs. But for this project, we're gonna build or we're gonna assemble most of it a DIY variable power supply for your lab, for your testing stuff, you know. It's very cheap, very affordable. All right, but things let's try to, to think what is a variable power supply. You can check this one here. All right, a more dedicated um, variable power supply actually for the real stuff can be one like this, but it's very expensive. In our case, we're gonna assemble a DIY one, very quick, very easy, that we're gonna make your project look awesome. All right, friends, so, for the project of today, I'm going to present you this board. It's from Drock. Uh, basically, this one requires an input till 20 volts, and it's going to have a, a variable output DC one. All right, it's going to have a display. You can adjust it. You know, this is more nice looking and more precise than the adjustable port ones. Okay, let's power this up and show you the proof. All right, friends, we have managed to power it up with a 12 volt input supply. So here is the input part, here is the display, and here is the output. Let's see, now it's saying off. Okay, on, off. Let's see, this first button on the left here shows us the input voltage, 12.2 out. It's zero because it's off. When I turn it on, it's set to three volts. We pushed the one on the left, one, and with the left in and out buttons, we can adjust plus and minus. Here we go. This one can go up to, let's see, 0 0.3. Okay, look, you see, it's got an output of 1.7 volts. You can adjust it, you can play with it. I don't know, this one is, is got a protection, but it's very useful for our project. Uh, I'm going to show you a practical example. We're going to connect a 12 volts LED and we're going to see how low this one can go. All right, stay tuned. All right, friends, we're going to connect a low. This is a 12 volts LED, 1.7 watts load. This is not a very good example because we're gonna need one without the resistor inside, without nothing to be able to control the more accurate. There you go. The LED bulb is here, you can see it. And now we're gonna play with the output. We have here input and output. We go to output. Okay, let's try to make it 10 volts. Eight, ten, and zero. Okay, set. And see, with ten volts, the LED is lighting. Now we're gonna try to lower the voltage. Let's see, no, nine. Set off nine volts, still is on. We're gonna turn it off, go to the output. Let's see again eight. Nine. 
with eight is going. All right, he's got a very good tolerance. Let's say off. Let's go six. 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 Yeah. Hmm. How about that? Strange. All right, let's see if we did set this one correctly. Okay, let's see now, the voltage output, turn it on, is four. Let's measure if there is four volts here. Yeah, precisely, precisely, four volts. But because the input of this power supply is 12 volts and 5 amps that's why maybe the bulb is drawing with less voltage uh, more amps let's check the amp draw let's check the amp draw let's turn it off first it never happened to me the uh, led bulb to work on 4 volts especially a 12 volts one Okay, let's turn it on. Wow, 1.10. Let's see if uh, we're gonna raise up the voltage. Let's go higher. 6, 7, 8, 9. Set. And then. Uh -huh, you see? With 9 volts, it's drawing just 200 milliamps. So, yeah, folks, because the power supply can deliver, this bulb will light with 2 volts as well. But it's not very efficient because this one is supposed to be drawing like 150, 250 um, milliamps. So, we are overdrawing it and we can damage the bulb. That's why. I show the importance of lowering the voltage of uh, various devices and this is not all the way good because we cannot regulate the, the current but for some project you just have to lower the input voltage and input amps and you can lower the voltage and see your project see if you go your LEDs or your motors or whatever you want to power it if you're gonna go lower on voltage what's gonna happen yeah and now it remains to make a case for this one but this one it's up to you use your imagination you can do with cardboard with plastic if you have a 3d printer whatever let me know on how we can make a very nice interesting case for this one and if you uh, thought this one is useful for you and your project and so on till the meanwhile till we're gonna figure it out how to make a case for this one because it's very tricky Thumbs up, subscribe, share this video, and see you on the next one. Yeah!